and children. Children, do you remember the show and tell we had in class wherein you brought your favorite toy and spoke about it? Yes. Now, we teachers are going to show and tell you about our favorite things we used as a child. Good morning, children. You know, I was very excited today because last night teacher told me we have a show and tell in class. So I was just thinking now because I wanted always to show my daisy to everyone. And today I got a nice chance to bring her to school. And you must be wondering who is this daisy? When I was in class 2, I had a very close friend. So one morning she comes up to me and says, you know, I'm leaving school tomorrow. So I said, I was very sad and I said, what happened? What did I do to you? She said, no, no, you didn't do anything to me. My father is transferred to Bombay. That time, Mumbai was called Bombay. So I said, so what? Let them go. You stay here. No, she said, no, I have to go. But don't worry. I know without me, you will feel very lonely. As we used to play together, we used to eat and share things, share our secrets. But she said, don't worry. I said, why? And slowly from behind, she takes out this doll. Can you all see this doll? When we were young, we did not have Barbies. We did not have Cindy's and we did not have Lego toys. We just played with whatever we could find. And this doll is made by both of us, my friend Daisy. So she said, you keep this and when I'm gone, you think it's me and you can name her Daisy. So I said, okay, I was very happy. And I took Daisy home with me. My friend left and I was there in class. I made many friends after that. But Daisy has been very special to me. My parents told me, why are you still playing with her? We will buy you a new one. I said, no. Because whenever I felt lonely or I had to tell something, I would call, talk to Daisy. And I used to tell and Daisy would listen. And you know one thing, I would share all my secrets to Daisy. So Daisy knows all my secrets and I don't give her to anyone because if I give, she will tell away all my secrets to her. So she is very precious and I keep her. I've kept a nice place for her in my house and I love my Daisy. Students, here you can see a teddy bear. But this is not a usual teddy. This is something very unique and special to me. Do you know why? When I was young, maybe as old as you are, my mother told me that this teddy is like a postman. He can take away all my letters and uh, give them to God. So I asked my mother, how is that possible? She said, if you turn this around, you can open it and stuff my letters over here. So what I would do is, I would write letters telling God all my problems and troubles and put them inside here and tell the steady to give it to God. Surprisingly, on the next day, God would send a reply to me. And in the reply, he would say, don't worry, Swizzle, all your problems and troubles will be solved. I continued doing this for many years until one fine day, out of curiosity, I asked my mama, Mama, how is that God re uh, replies to my problems and troubles so fast? My mother just laughed and said, It is not God, but it is me who is reading all your problems and replies to you the next day in the morning. Students, I have grown older and now I do not write and send my letters through the study. But I sit with my mama and I tell her all my problems. And like always, she always has some solution to it and always makes sure that I do not have any troubles. Right now, I do not write anything and put in this. But I open it up and use it like a cushion to sleep. Maybe by sleeping also, all my troubles go away. Eddie, today I'm going to show you to all my friends. Say hi. Yes. So this is Eddie. Eddie the teddy who is my best friend. 
you know why it is precious to me because it was gifted to me by my father i'm very close to my father whenever i'm into trouble i always share my things with my father so papa one day gifted to me a teddy so i named it as addy so whenever i'm into any trouble or anything whenever i'm sad lonely i always talk to my addy and i always feel special after talking to it children have you seen this piece of cloth no 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 it's not a sari it's a quilt my grandmother had gifted me this quilt on my 10th birthday and she had used this two of a sarees to make this quilt so you can use it both the ways since then i have been using it i feel so cozy it's so precious to me i love this quilt children you too must be having your favorite toy among all the toys which is very really dear to you and you will never want it to uh, give it to your friends or cousins because you have the fear that they may lose it or spoil it it's because it is your favorite toy today we are going to read a story about a little boy and his favorite toy the old rabbit lesson number 2 page number 10 the old rabbit amit had a toy rabbit it was old and dirty but amit loved it amit's mother did not like amit's toy rabbit throw it away i'll buy you a new toy she said i don't want a new toy said amit i love my rabbit now the name of the little boy was amit so amit loved his toy rabbit though it was old and dirty his mother wanted him to throw away that rabbit she was willing to buy a new rabbit toy for him but amit loved his toy rabbit you can see in this picture amit with us amit is so happy with his toy rabbit now let's read further one day amit's parents took amit and his sister jyoti to a fair amit took his rabbit with him they all got on a bus so they were at the fair there were lot of rides and shops at the fair there were many toys and things to eat too amit and jyoti were very happy now amit's parents decided to take amit and his sister jyoti to a fair now we all love going to a fair you all know what is a fair it's a large crowd with many rides and stalls some stalls with eatables too and there are toy shops as well so amit and jyoti were very happy at the fair so let's amit loved his rabbit so much that he took the rabbit with him now let's see what they did at the fair amit jyoti and their parents got on the giant wheel first soon they were high up in the air they had lot of fun amit hugged his rabbit tightly he was rather afraid i'm glad i've got my rabbit with me he thought now children you all must have had a, a ride on the giant wheel of course we it goes high up we get very scared when it goes high and we scream and shout when it comes down but we all enjoy this ride in the same way amit also enjoyed his right but we also uh, hold someone tightly who's sitting next to us when it comes down because we are scared in the same way amit hugged his rabbit he loved his rabbit so much that he felt very safe with it 
So, so Amit hugged his rabbit tightly. Now next what they did? Next they went for a camel ride. It was rather bumpy. Now you all have seen the camel. It has a hump. Isn't it? Now when he moves, he moves up and down. So that movement is called as bumpy. So when you sit, you can feel that movement. So hold on tight, said his father. Now Amit, because the, uh, uh, the ride is bumpy, the father tells him to hold on tightly. Suddenly, Amit found that his rabbit was not there. He was very sad and began to cry. Where is my rabbit? cried Amit. Let me get off. I must look for my rabbit. Now Amit, as they were on the camel ride, Amit realizes that he had dropped his rabbit. So he was very upset and he began to cry. He wanted to get down and look for his rabbit. But, but Amit, Jyoti and their parents looked for Amit's toy rabbit everywhere. But they did not find it any, anyway. They started searching for the rabbit but they could not find it anyway. Let me buy you a toy dog. It's cleaner and bigger than your rabbit, said Amit's mother. So they bought the toy dog. But Amit was not happy. Now you can see in the picture Amit's mother telling him not to cry. She bought a nice clean and big toy dog for him. But was Amit happy? No. Amit was thinking about his friend. The toy rabbit had become a, his friend. So he was thinking about his toy rabbit. He was not happy with the toy dog. Suddenly, Jyoti saw a little girl. She was holding Amit's toy rabbit. That's my brother's rabbit, said Jyoti to the girl. Please give it to him. I found it. It's mine now, said the girl. Now at that moment, Jyoti Amit's sister saw a little girl holding Amit's toy rabbit. She went to the girl and she asked for that toy rabbit. But the girl refuses to give that since she, she had found it. She says, I have found it. It's mine now. But what Amit said, I will give you this new toy dog, said Amit. Now he wanted his friend, his toy rabbit. So he was ready to exchange it with the toy dog. So he took. The little girl thought it for about it for a while. All right, she said at last. So um, she agreed to exchange the toy dog for the toy rabbit. And she gave Amit the toy rabbit. And she took the new toy dog. Amit's mother was rather cross. The dog was much cleaner than the rabbit, she said. Of course, the mother, she wanted him to play with the toy dog. She, toy dog because it was cleaner, bigger and she had bought a new toy dog. But Amit loved his rabbit. He wanted his toy rabbit. So she was upset, a little upset. But Amit was very happy to get his old rabbit back and never lost it again. Amit was so happy that he took so much care that he never lost it again. He kept it safely. So children, read this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Till then, bye-bye.